Well, lads, today is finally here. It is All Ireland Championship quarter final day, and today, lads, it is the big one. We're going down to Crook Park here today for the Saturday games. Of course, we're going down because we're watching our mad, but we're also going to be catching the big, big quarter final tie between Kerry and Tyrone to start things off today as a quarter to four. That's going to be some game there. I'm really excited to see how Kerry and Tyrone do fair against each other. It should be a very good game. Then, of course. Armagh v Monaghan, the all Ulster clash, hoping for Kerry and Armagh wins here today. I'm hoping that Throne can lose, hoping Monaghan can lose. That would be the perfect day for us here. And well, I'm a bit nervous now because I'm not too sure. Obviously, Monaghan are a decent side. They definitely will give Armagh a decent match. And I'm a bit nervous that Throne may also be Kerry as well. But you know what? We just got to stay positive here. Let's hope that the Kingdom and the Orchard men can get it done here today. And um, well, let's hope that Armagh will finally get over the quarter final stage. And let's hope that in two weeks time then, we'll be back, we'll be back down in Croker for an all Ireland semi-final day in Dublin. So we'll see you all then, possibly down in Croke Park. A surprise package today. I think we'll be leading at half time. Uh, I think it'll be tight the first half. I think Kerry will maybe drive through and win the game in the end, maybe by five or six scores at least, maybe a goal. Um, Armagh, I think Armagh would feel maybe in the first half as they typically do, but I think they'll come strong in the second half and maybe get a couple of goals. I think it'll be a, hopefully a clear win, maybe by goal and two three points. Hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed. Thank you. I'm going to go for Tyrone Bay too. Thank you. On the Marshall Stadium now. We've got about half an hour to the Tyrone Carry game to start. We get in just in time for Tyrone, I believe. It seems to be good crowds in here. I'd say all four counties have definitely brought good support for this one today. There she is there. Blue car. Big crowds, a lot of Kerry and Tyrone. There's the famous Dublin pub. Shouldn't be too long now till we're at our seats in Coke Park. Here we are. It's uh, just over 10 minutes now till Tyrone Kerry will just begin. We'll get there for throwing, don't you worry. Especially in Crow Park. There it is there. Here we are then, here's our reef of the game. Similar enough seats to the last year. We're literally about to start. There's the head over there. Literally about to start the Terry V Troon match. Come on! Game begins. Come on, Kerry! First score of the game. Come on, Kevin. Oh, 
teammate now at half time. Hoping they hoping they're the team we win today. The there's Monaghan over there. Here's the bays. Monaghan in the leaks. There's Rian and Rafferty, Greg McCabe. Oh no, there's Rian there, sorry. That was Rian at all. Second half begins. Come on, Kerry. says ways. and we hit her room. He rode over and went back. The hill, get to see. What a pass by Clifford. Oh. Brilliant goal by Sean O'Shea. Kerry have done on goal today. They've completely outclassed. Look at him there, this top off. They've completely outclassed for him. It's a red 
Dominic Karsh or Tyrone player. I think it's number 10. I don't know what he's done. Kerry Brown out to 18 to 12 points. What a performance for the team. The last seven in the third game of the year. And well, the Kerry Rocks. Maybe they've just reignited their All Ireland Championship hopes for this year. Throw didn't come out the second half. Kerry were excellent. And well, 40 minutes now to the Armagh Monarchy. Here's both teams in for the game. There's Armagh side, Ryan O'Neill back in after a suspension against Galway. He starts full forward. Colin Comiskey starts swing half back. Interesting enough there, Aaron McKay after an excellent performance. At number six, moves back to number three. With Greg McKay back in centre half back. And as for Monaghan then, of course it's a good side. Rory Began is one to watch out for. He'll be a good keeper to stop. Gary Mohan and Jack McCarran, both in the forward line, as is Ryan McInesby. All good, as is Conor McCarthy as well. And obviously in the bench then, Conor McManus could come on at some point and cause some problems. So, I'd say every half an hour now it is until the Armagh, the Monaghan match. And there's David Clifford making his way off the pitch. Good to see the hill a bit, wee bit more orange now. 25 minutes for the Armagh Monaghan game. Here we are. This is Armagh. the base. How's that man got over there? That's actually closed off. He's a madman. A madman.
Half time, Arma lead, 6.5, only the 8 point, but we're in the lead, which is all that matters. Half time then, it's Arma lead, the 8 point, it's a break. I have to say, we have been a bit wasteful in the session, I have been two great, but of course, half time got the scores we have got well, probably should have scored a wee bit more, we should be at a goal chance for the two times, where we should have gone for a point. But Mom and have put a few rights as well, both sides were defensively good. Let's just hope that Arma can maybe have a wee bit better in the second half. Let's hope that we can advance to the semi finals. Arma and our good side definitely can beat us, but I do believe that they're for the taking. And if we do well in the session to take our scores, I definitely do think we can win this game. So we'll see you all then in the second half. Here's Arma. Just a wee bit lower down, a few rows down from where we originally were. Second half begins, come on our man. Joseph, I bet you none of them had the pen to this game, did they? I bet you none of them had the pen. Connor McManus. Very good to miss this. Should have scored that goal. Don't know why it was past Conor Herbert, but we still have a chance to take the lead. With 14 minutes to go. Yes! Come on! Come on! It's all over, it's finished 12 points, it's going to extra time. Don't know what's going on over here. All over, extra time again in full power. Uh, I'm not going to do deserve the win, I think Armada has been pretty crap, especially in that second half. 
Yeah. 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 But uh, the referee, Conor Lean, also horrible performance. He may as well be from Monaghan. Uh, he's not best with him. Uh, we had a clear free kick there, but she could have won us the game. He gave it through goal, and that's how the game ended the draw. So I'll tell you what, not happy with the referee, but we're not happy with our performance either. But we need to hope that we can make a lot better in extra time, and hopefully we can advance to the semi final in the end. So we'll see you all then for extra time. Next train begins. Come on, Armand. Half time of extra time has been called. Only one point eight score, 13 13. But 10 minutes ago, I fear penalties. I really do fear them. Second half of extra time begins. Come on, Armand. Last kick of the game. Monaghan score. It's penalties. Can't believe this. Connor Lane is an absolute disgrace. That's all I'll say for me. Families come. Come on, our man. Let's make a third time with this. Come on, come on, that's the first. Manzo is Manon.
Rugen, do your day. This is it. Bring up the sudden death. championship at the quarterfinal stage and once again they're out of the uh, quarterfinal stage through penalties as well and well obviously tough them to take I mean uh, long story short we weren't good enough uh, we should have gone attacking I think we were standing off them I think against Monaghan you need to go at them and if we did do that um, I do think we definitely would have beat them fine margins like I mean we had a few chances that we should have put away should have took points out of goals but instead we tried for goals and ultimately caused a turnover for Monaghan so Look at, you know, Monaghan, of course. Uh, they weren't great, in my opinion, either. But once again, like, still probably did just about do enough to get a draw on that one. Armagh were not good enough. Connor Lee and also, won't touch them much. But all I'll say is, his refereeing performance was awful. May as well be from Castle Blaney. He was at best towards Monaghan, it seemed for me, at least. But look at, you know, it's the end of the Armagh year. It's been a disappointing year overall, from the relegation of Division 1 to the Ulster final defeat, to the defeat in Crow Park there. But look at... I've had many brilliant memories made, you know, many brilliant trips down to Crow Park there, of course. A few brilliant trips to Clonus, brilliant trip there to Trilly as well. You know, it's been a few brilliant uh, times, a few brilliant vlogs. I'd like to thank you all for the support for all my Arma vlogs. And um, well, we'll go again then, January for the Mechanic Cup, January 2024. Six months' time, we'll see you all again then for another Arma vlog in a, lot, a couple months' time. So that will end today's match day vlog. I hope you enjoy it. Remember to like, share and subscribe and turn on notifications. Thank you all for the support of the channel once again. I really appreciate it. I'll see you all once again in KTFG very, very soon.